All right, everybody. So I'm over here making a video of the new plug and play node on the GMRS linked network. Um, it's already plugged in, turned on. You got the radio over here. Pretty much, you got internet. My home's Wi Fi router is currently on. So you plug it in and sit back for a second wait for everything to load see the light start blinking here we have the Raspberry Pi 3A the new ADA sound card and the trusty rusty Belfang BF888S once everything loads you will hear the IP address get announced IP address this is the IP address for my local Wi-Fi network. After that, you'll hear it connect to node 10100. Node 10100 connected to node 116. All right. As you can see, just connect it down there. And she is never transmitted. Now, if I was to do this by the software or a DTMF, it would show that it was transmitted. WQXN966. Apparently, this is a little slow on the, uh, the rebound here. Should have moved it up. Oh, it disconnected. WQXN nine six six. That was low. WQZG eight five zero. Good afternoon, Jason. Hey Mike, yeah, I'm just doing a quick uh, shout out here. I'm doing a video, so I'll get back in here in a second. WKXN 966. Good afternoon. The time is 5 o'clock p.m. I don't have it set to my time zone. As you can see, it says 4. Alright, so the next video that I was planning on doing was actually doing a simplex node to a repeater. Well, the Belfang BF888S decided to give me a little bit of grief today. I got it programmed up with the GMRS frequencies. And a few of them that I decided to throw in there with different uh, PL tones and all that good stuff. But the thing was, is I didn't put it in there with my repeaters frequency and offset and tones and all that good stuff so it won't talk to the repeater so pretty much I'm just gonna have to explain why and how doing a, a re simplex to repeater it has its downsides um, as you can hear I'm gonna actually because I don't want to be chunking the entire network here I'm going to actually disconnect from the hub and, and then um, do it by myself here. The hub doesn't need to be kid chunking with me and everything. Node one zero one zero zero disconnected. All right. So the way it's set up right now is there is a courtesy beep with hang time. That's the simplex node. Uh, my repeater has the same thing. I'm going to disconnect that from the network as well, so we could kind of we could kind of play with it a little bit here without interrupting everything. All right. Node one zero one zero so, zero 
disconnected. Both have courtesy beep and hang time. If you can hear the scratch clash. Okay, that's actually the receive radio doing that. Um, but the the is all your repeater can have for a tail. Any longer than that. It's going to cause problems. Um, if you hear the and then it's quiet and then the boop and then it's quiet. The is the only thing we're worried about. That's the only length. All the rest of that you can't have. You can't have it ID. You can't have it uh, have a long hang time or beep because what will happen is that will actually come back over the network. you got to look at it as you're sitting here hitting this button and talking to the repeater. Okay, so if you're sitting here holding this radio and you let go and you're talking to a repeater, what do you hear? You hear the courtesy beep and the hang time. Okay, well, all that's going to go back over the network, and we're going to hear it. So the network can't hear that. It's going to cause a big bottleneck, and it's quite annoying to listen to. Um, we put up with it short term just to, to, to fine tweak it. But like I said, if you have just a, a short, just like that burst, the, the burst right at the EM key, the software will actually ignore that. So the downside to that is, is it's ignoring it, but it's also ignoring the first couple of seconds of the transmission. Um, the f and you can't, well, I experimented a little bit with having the courtesy beep come from the link radio dropping everything off of the repeater no courtesy beep no hang time just a, a slight kuk. and what i did was i actually allowed the software because it is a really quick thing you know as soon as you on key it comes right back that and and so the only thing is is if you got a bunch of quick keyers on your repeater it's going to be intermod coming into it and if they're using your repeater to do it the link radio is transmitting so it's not hearing what's coming out over your repeater so the best thing to do is no id this is a repeater, this is the simplex node. No ID at all on the repeater. Simplex node, you can have an ID. W See? Q there's a repeater. N now, if that was on the right frequency, this radio would be hearing that, sending it over the network. But it doesn't. Um, so like I was saying before it ID'd, if you have this ID, then the repeater will hear it, and rebroadcast the ID. So you can do it that way if you want an ID or a courtesy beep. Um, otherwise, if you whack it off of both of these, where they're just straight non noise when you unkey, I'm going to go set this one up to do it. Um, I'm taking you back into the software here. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We're going to go in. We're going to actually change this to where there is no there is no courtesy beep or hang time or nothing like that. Here it is again. Let's turn it on. 
wait for it to ID. I'm going to reload my, my software on the screen here because I don't want to connect it to the network. Actually, you know what? I will just to show. Alright, so there it goes. Got the light. It's pulling an IP address. In a second here, it will display the IP address. Sorry, folks, this is getting kind of long. Hopefully, I'm keeping your interest. There it goes. Node 1, 0, not to ID the IP address. Zero. So, if you look here, WQXN966 test. Nothing. When I unkeyed, it was nothing. I'm going to drop the off of the network again. Because I don't want to tie that up. Mode 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, so, disconnected. So this... This sounds just like a fully, you know, like you're talking simplex, that's it. The radio doesn't even rekey. And that's it. That's, that's pretty much what your repeater needs to sound like. If you can get it to do just that, that is great sounds like complete simplex then if you really wanted to you could have the node rebroadcast like i had mentioned all right thank you guys